All right, it's time to go on patrol now with CHP officer Johnny Fisher. This Memorial Day weekend, you might be hooking up that fifth wheel and headed to the coast or the lake or wherever. Officer Fisher is here now to talk about the travel trailer safety tips that you need to remember before you hit that open road. Good morning. Thanks Good for being morning, here. Good morning, you guys. It's nice seeing you. All right, so let's get right to it. First off, what is the first thing that the travel trailer owner needs to do before they get out of that driveway? Well, the first thing that, that you're going to do is you're going to hook everything up and, you know, you want to check your ball hitch and you want to check to make sure that everything goes on uh, where, where it needs to be. Um, make sure you, your vehicle is up to date on all of its maintenance. Um, check the brakes and all your fluids and just all the simple things. Uh, so just so you don't break down the side of the road. Awesome. Okay. Now we understand you've got some video tips to show us how to make sure we have the proper connection from our vehicle to the trailer. What's the first thing we should check? Well, uh, just start right from the right from the beginning. Uh, is just start with the with the connection ball hitch, and then um, from there you just you're putting on your uh, your safety chains right there. That's a great shot of the ball hitch and the little tongue. You want to make sure that that tongue uh, is forward just like that. If it pops back, that's not good at all. That okay, means so it's not it going to be secure. needs to be in, down in right. that hitch. And okay. there's a, a safety pin that you have also. There's a great, great shot of, our, of the safety chain. You usually have two that goes on there. Uh, it just clicks on just like that. Um, okay. And, you know, just one thing to keep in mind, that is a moving violation to have. Uh, to not have that. Oh, yeah, have to have there. it both. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So What's what that? what he's showing right there, uh, uh, it was a uh, it was a weight distribution. Uh, it's an add-on okay. to the trailer. And what's that? Um, that is a uh, it's a it's a safety breakaway line. So if the trailer does come disconnected, that will lock the brakes on the trailer so it doesn't go oh, you know flying off a cliff someplace. Okay. Um, so that also if not having that connected mm -hmm. to a battery source uh, is is also a moving violation. That you know is just another uh, connection for your lights, which is always important because you know you're towing around thousands mm -hmm. of pounds of fun mm -hmm. and excitement mm -hmm. when either you're going to the beach or up up in the mountains. You know you want people to see you and you want to be seen. Yeah. So uh, all these clearance lights here, we want to make sure that all that works. Okay, so this is the weight distribution uh, add-on to these trailers, which I felt like was just great. Um, and what that does is it makes for a safer ride so the, the vehicle, uh, oh. the, uh, the trailer isn't swaying. Boy. It will distribute the weight evenly throughout the trailer. Um, and Ooh. you just, as he's tightening and loosening that right there, um, that just, it, it just provides a little bit more tension um, for, the, for your connection yeah. of yeah. Your, your, your travel trailer. Okay. Um, there was just so much great stuff. This is one of the more important things right here, and these are the things that we clean up off the side of the road day in and day out. Yeah. Tires from, uh, from vehicles. Um, and as you see right there, you can see how much, uh, 2,540 pounds, that's how much those tires are, are rated to carry. So uh, just having a single tire, just like that, um, you, on that axle, you're only permitted to have that much weight on there. So just keeping that in mind, you have like, you know, 2,500 pounds, you have two, two tires that are mm -hmm. one in front of the other. Sure. So you're looking at about, you know, 5,000 pounds. You put in all your food, you're putting in all your bikes, you're putting uh -huh. in everything that you're, you're bringing to have an awesome weekend, and you're not really keeping in mind how much weight you can actually have on there. Okay. Now you've got all that weight, uh, you know, pretty, pretty heavy stuff there. Yeah. What's the speed limit for a travel trailer? <laughs> Any vehicle towing anything, uh -huh. the speed limit's always 55. Straight across the board. Always Even if you're 55. on I-5, which is 70? Always 55. Just like big rigs, 55. Yeah. You have to stay in the slow lane. Big rigs can only go 55? <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, in California, 55 miles an hour. As soon as we get outside of California, then it's, uh, it's a totally Take your different. pick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're only permitted to go 55 miles an hour. Okay. Yep. No matter what the speed limit signs are on the road. Right. It's always 55. Okay. It'll say autos and trailers. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, trucks with trailers, 55 miles an hour. The kids really want to play cards in the back in the trailer while we're driving. <laughs> Is that okay? No, no. No they're, one. No, get... they're, they're not secure. It's it's uh, it's separate from the vehicle. There's no way to communicate. Well, while well, there is, but you know, with our mobile phones sure. and stuff. But it's just it's not safe to do. Okay. Zero dog. safety. Keep the dog back there. I, I, anything that I loved, yeah. that that's like a living and breathing, I probably wouldn't put back in the back of the in the deal. It's just not safe. I like to keep. Okay my family up front where I can see them so they're not, you know, gotcha. flying around there. Okay, 
Thank you very Thank much. You. Have tip. an awesome Memorial Day. And Thank you, you too. too. Have a safe one. All right, you guys. Thank you. If you want a link to the CHP and all these useful driving tips, log on to KMPH.com. Click on Patrol Tap from the Great Day drop-down menu.